Am I all right? I've lost the ability to see the rest of the class. Oh, no! I'm class blind! No, you're not. They're not here. It's just us. <sighs> This is like my recurring dream of a field trip descending into total chaos. Only, oh wait, that dream is real, and it's every single trip! I admit, this is stranger than usual, Arnold, but we'll figure it out. How? Miss Frizzle is gone. I'll never get to tell her how much I actually learned from her. Oh, well, there's still very much more to learn, Arnold, like how not to talk about people when they aren't there. <laughs> Miss Frizzle? Yes, and that is clearly the iconic lighthouse of Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, Canada? What happened during the storm that we ended up on the opposite side of the continent from Albuquerque? When lightning struck the bus, the resulting power surge caused a rupture. The bus has clearly been split and separated. Where's everyone else? An excellent question, Dorothy Ann. Class, what would be the best way to find them? Well, if the other frizz pad is with the other part of the bus... We should be able to track them. Good thinking, you two. I would also have accepted scream their names as loudly as we can. Hmm. This first pad's on the fritz. There we go. I think we found them, but could this be right? The other half of the bus is in Peru? Guys, someone's calling us. Please let it be a rescue team. Wanda, you're okay! Arnold, am I glad to see you. Hey, Arn. We were starting to get worried. Where's the rest of the class? We're in Nova Scotia, Canada, but it's just DA and me. Hold on. Our part of the bus is also in Hawaii! Keisha! Am I glad to see you guys? I need help immediately. I've got a situation over here. Carlos, Ralphie, and Miss Frizzle won't stop acting silly. Even more than usual. But that's not possible. Oh, I assure you, it is very possible. No. How can Miss Frizzle be with you when she's here with us in Peru right now? See? <laughs> you know how they say you can never have too much of a good thing? Well, we all have a frizzle. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> you get a frizzle. She gets a frizzle. We all get frizzles! Ms. Frizzle split into three? Ah, uh, this is all starting to make sense now. Really? Uh, according to my research? Oh, who am I kidding? There's no research to support this! This is impossible! Improbable, but not impossible, Dorothy Ann. This isn't my first split. Last time I experienced a magic rupture, I fractured into three parts as well. What you're seeing is only one-third of me. There's also the wacky, goofy, silly side of me. I call her the Frizz. <laughs> wacky, goofy side? Never met her! She sounds pretty awesome, though, eh? Hey, And I'm the daring, adventurous side. Fiona! Inconceivable! Our Frizz just jumped out of the balloon! What? <laughs> oh, classic me! And then there's this part of me. The reliable teacher who only wants to observe and learn from a safe distance. Music to my ears! Good. Then please sit. Sitting is 77.84% safer than standing. And swinging is 100% more fun than sitting! Whoa! <laughs>